so welcome to Le Chiuse. I'm Lorenzo Magnelli, winemaker uh, here since 2006. Uh, we own around 25 acres of vineyards and where we produce the three classic red wines from this area. So Rosso di Montalcino, Brunello and Brunello Reserva. Um, probably the coolest characteristic of Le Chiuse came from the history. My great great grandfather was Ferruccio Biondisanti, which was uh, the father of Brunello, was the man that invented first uh, the variety of grape called Sangiovese Grosso and then uh, uh, the wine called Brunello in 1888. Then Le Chiuse was selected by his son Tancredi Biondisanti for the Reserva selection. Most of the Reserva from Biondisanti were made here and mainly for two reasons. Le Chiuse is in a very special place, a uh, cool place because we are in the north side of the hill of Montalcino but at the same time we are 300 meters over the sea level. So, Good concentration because uh, uh, we are not so high, but at the same time, the wine is able to preserve a good acidity and good elegance because of the fresh exposition. And the same things you can get from the soil because the soil is rich of clay, so concentration in the wines, but uh, it's really rich of a kind of schist stone that fall down from the hill of Montalcino for centuries uh, and that increased the savory part uh, and the mineral notes that help the wine to be more enjoyable and with a longer potential life. So um, when uh, then the property came to my mother uh, in 1992, our very first vintage, which was a terrible vintage, we did just the Rosso di Montalcino and then from 1993 Brunello di Montalcino. Here we are at the aging room. This is a special room where the wines spend most of their time in the wine cellar. We only use big barrels of Slavonian oak, which is the most traditional way to age a Brunello di Montalcino, where Rosso di Montalcino aged for one year, Brunello for three years, and Brunello Reserva for four years. Brunello Reserva is something very special because after a long aging in the barrel, four years, the wine is going to be aging the ball uh, for other five years. So, so at the end, we are going to release the wine at the tenth year from the harvest. And that's because uh, we were looking for uh, to give to the wine a stronger identity, especially from the regular Brunello. So ha having a longer aging in the barrel and in the ball make us able to find a wine with a higher complexity and the wine get more time to find the right balance. So at the end uh, is a wine ready to drink uh, that can give you the 100% of its potential.